Hi behind woods viewers this is Sharada Ramanathan director of Pudhi Tirupangal speaking with you exclusively for the audiences and viewers of behind woods Anyway, about me, I am Sharada Ramanathan. I uh, used to work with an organization called the Ford Foundation. So I used to be in charge of culture and media in the Ford Foundation. And I used to um, do a lot of projects around cinema, cultural projects, and sometimes linking cinema and culture also. So I have got a lot of exposure through that job in South Asia, in South Southern Africa, in South America, in Southeast Asia. So I used to go and, uh, you know, expose myself to the films and cultures of these places, which is very special because, you know, India is very easily exposed to American cinema and Hollywood, but not so much to the places that I went to when I was in the Ford Foundation. So that was very good. And uh, then I became a director. I decided to direct my first film, which was an art film. But uh, that's the most important part of my background as far as film goes. Pudhi Tirupangal falls completely in the commercial genre. It's got everything that a film is required to have. It's got action, it's got, it's like an emotional thriller, it's got a good strong story. It's got uh, sentiment, it's got romance, it's got action, it's got everything that goes into a regular narrative, you know. And uh, it's an emotional thriller. It's about a very young, handsome, city-based, you know, working guy like you, who finds himself suddenly he has to save a young girl, very young girl, almost a child, from child trafficking. So what does he do? How does he get thrown into that? How does he come out of that? Does he save the child? Does he not save the child? So that's basically the story. And who is behind all this? You know, so that's basically the story. Nanda is the eyes and the ears of the film. The whole story is told through his eyes. So he is the eyes of the director in the film. Andrea is a uh, plays a journalist and she's done a fantastic job and uh, both of them look good, they've acted good, uh, they have good chemistry on screen and uh, it's very good, they've done well and I think this is, this will be a good film for Nanda for sure, I think. We've actually introduced another girl, heroine called Surveen Chavla. She's also doing a couple of other South Indian films now. And there's a wonderful child artist called Dharani, who's played the, the girl who gets abused in child trafficking. And then, of course, Madhu Sir, Madhu Ambat is behind the camera. After a long time, he's doing a commercial film, you know, in Tamil. He's done a lot of films in Hindi and Hollywood and all that, but in Tamil, you know. And then Vidya Sagar's music, which has come out very well. And uh, Namath Kumar's lyrics, which is great fun and very poetic, and uh, and a whole lot of other supporting cast. We have introduced a new villain called Gautam Kurup, who then subsequently started acting. I think he's doing Tupaki and all that also. So uh, good, good cast and uh, good supporting cast. I expect to see you there first day, first show, all of you. Don't forget. But I think it's a, it's a film that will appeal to mass audience. It's a film that's, um, you know, it's a commercial film. So why can't it appeal? So I think it will. See, Lalgudi Jairaman is, is really a legend. That's true. And uh, he's had hundreds of offers before he did Sringaram. But he took this film. And so far it's the only film that he's done music for. And he won the national award. Working with him was fantastic because he is, you know, the greater people are, 
the more humble they are. You know, so working with great people is much easier than working with those who, you know, give a lot of attitude. Great people don't give attitude, basically. Saroj Khan is another legend. She has done full Ek Do Teen and Dhak Dhak and all that. Angendi, she came straight here, parachuted into Bharatanatyam. And still she gave Bharatanatyam a lovely look, you know, nice energy on screen. So working with her was fantastic. She's mad and fun and genius and, you know, and she was frightened by Lal Gudi's music and she didn't know the language, so we had to translate everything for her. But she's a genius, so she picked it up in no time, basically. She also won the National Award. Madhu Ambat Sir he is uh, he's also a legend by now. And he also won the National Award for that film. So his cinematography was like, like a painting. Each frame was like a painting. And it was very well appreciated, I think, internationally. All their work, I think. Well, we went to some 20 international film festivals. We had to refuse about 20 international film festivals. And uh, we got three national awards, two state awards. Most of the festivals, we didn't go for the competition section per se. But we got a lot of appreciation. In LA, in New York, we were the opening night in Lincoln Center, which was fantastic. We had a great red carpet there. In LA, we uh, had a, a bigger crowd than Deepa Mehta's water, I'm told. I don't know. But we had a full house, for sure. And everywhere we went, we had full houses. Even in a local Chennai festival, you know, the South Asian Film Festival by the Korean, uh, I think, consulate. I think we were sold out even here. We were sold out in Delhi. Did very well internationally. Did very well in South America, which is something very new for an Indian film, I think.